friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate having you here so much. I hope you have an amazing day. So this morning before I head out to work, I thought that I would get today's project ready to be shared. So today, so today's project is actually two projects. So I have a tumbler. And it's the night before Christmas tumbler. And then I did also a keychain that goes along with it. So now the keychain I will add video to. The tumbler, I started this so long ago, but because I've been so busy, I only recently finished it. So to be fair, I didn't video it. However, this is a black base and then the glitter on it is so it's got a black a black base and then I did this Halloween Town glitter from Glitter Chimp and then the um, Jack Skeleton Moon so what I did was I used my Cricut and I cut out a stencil I put the stencil on and then, um, so instead of keeping like this piece, I kept these pieces, put the stencil on and then I used Mod Podge and I put glow in the dark glitter over top of it. So because though I was using the glow in the dark glitter, I did do white paint underneath it. So I put the stencil, white paint, and then let that dry, Mod Podge, and then I put the glow in the dark over top of it. And I'll turn off the light in a minute so that you can see it. And and so this one is very, it's a very simple tumbler. It's got the glitter kind of going through it, not all the way around it, but just sort of going through it. And then it's got the glow in the dark for the Jack Skeleton. And I'll show you, I will show you this in the dark here in just a second. And then the keychain, I will show you um, up close of it, but then also in the dark. So the keychain, the difference is on the keychain, I used my Cricut to cut out the Jack Skeleton Moon. However, I took that piece of vinyl, so I, so this white is actual vinyl, and I took that piece of vinyl and I put the glow in the dark. I put the glow in the dark glitter over top of the vinyl. So I put Mod Podge on the on the vinyl, put the glitter over it, let it dry, and then I spray sealed it, and then I put it on. So you can't really see it here, but you'll be able to see it when I do it up close of it. So um, on the, the boogeyman, so his teeth, it was so small, I was able to pull his teeth out and put them there. The eyes, I couldn't pull out. So I just took a toothpick and some white paint and did the little slits for his eyes. And then um, our little doggy here, our little ghost doggy. Um, that is, again, one of the buttons that I use. So, um, super cute. Like I said, these little buttons make such good embellishments. Um, again, if you guys, uh, you may know all about these buttons. Let me know if you need me to show them to you because I certainly will do a video and show them to you. And, um, yeah, and so this turned out really, really cute. And I do have, you know, the video of this guy being made. So I'm going to turn out the light and I'm going to show you both of these in the dark. And then I'll show you this guy, you know, up close because I know it's probably hard to see him. Okay. I have a window here, so it's not fully dark, but I think you could see he's glowing really good. So, and I did two layers of glow in the dark glitter on him. So he turned out so cute. And then this guy, if you can see, he also glows. So super cute. 
and these turned out really, really fun. And they're just nice projects I wanted to share, especially with Halloween coming up. So I will show you this guy up close and then I will attach the video of making it. All right, so I just wanted to show you this guy up close. And again, he turned out so cute. So this is the button. Again, I did this with the Cricut with vinyl, and then I put the glow in the dark glitter over top of it. And then you can see I was able to get his teeth and they're good. And then I just did his eyes with a toothpick and some white paint. So his eyes don't glow in the in the dark. His teeth do, and this does. But this turned out really super cute, super fun. All right, so I'm going to attach the video of this if you'd um, like to see it. And listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and um, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks, friends. I'll see you later. Bye. All right, so we have our mold and our glitter is Night Fury from Glitter Chip. And we are just going to add it into the epoxy about half as much glitter as epoxy and again the mold came from amazon so now these little jump rings i've i used to use only one and i've been lately using two so i like to take one sometimes i have to open them up a little bit to get them um to fit around it but i open them and i take one and I push it all the way to the bottom over that little nipple that allows, you know, for the keychain part. And then I've been taking another one and putting it over the top portion of it. And I'll show you in the end, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about, how it looks. But I think that you know, that jump ring just really gives it a nice look. And I've been doing two because that way it looks good from the front and the back. I hate when I forget to put them on. And I'm sorry, you guys know I have such terrible, terrible allergies. I forgot to take my Claritin this morning and I, I know I sound awful and I'm so sorry. Um, so anyways, I'm just putting my glitter in like I always do. I like to use the toothpick to get, you know, around the backside of that nipple. You really, especially when you're using chunky glitter, you want to make sure that it's in there really good because those pieces of chunky glitter can like sort of sit up on their side and then all of a sudden you have a piece that's not completely connected. All right. So now I have, this is my decal that I cut with my Cricut and I'm using this Recollections Glow in the Dark Glitter. Take some Mod Podge and I'm just putting Mod Podge over top of the decal. Now after I put the Mod Podge on, I'm going to take it off and put it on this piece of butcher paper and the reason why I'm doing that because when I put on the glow in the dark glitter I I don't want it to stick to other things and this way I'm able to mod podge it really well and then but move it over and not worry about glitter sticking to anything else if that makes sense so I'm actually going to kind of dump this back in and without putting more Mod Podge on it. I'm going to just put a second layer of glitter. Now, after this dries, I will spray it with a clear spray. So now my Mickey ears are dry and so is my decal. So I'm just going to put it on, make sure it's pressed down really good and get all my little pieces because I do have Boogie Oogie's um, teeth there. Now, with this, the eyes were so small, it was just really impossible for me. So I'm using some Waverly White chalk paint. And I'm just going to take my toothpick, dab it in, and I'm just going to make his eyes super easy because they're just two small little slits for his eyes. And then after this 
sits for just a few minutes for the paint. I only waited maybe 10 minutes and then I went in and put my epoxy on. And I go to the edges here, but not over the edge because I do want to put one more layer and round it off. So this is just, just right up to the edges. Again, use my toothpick to make sure that I have everything exactly where it needs to go. And then I'm going to let this sit and dry and get hard. And then, sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Okay, so now these are my buttons. I always talk about these buttons. These ones are the Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, the Nightmare on Elm Street, the night before Christmas. And here is my little doggy ghost I'm going to use. I don't know why I always insist on using pliers on these. To be, to be honest, these just clip off very easily with a pair of scissors, which is much easier than me always trying to pull it off with the pliers. So I always forget to grab my scissors is the problem. So I'm just going to, you know, pay attention to where I'm going to put it. Now I'm going to top off. You can see I didn't need to use a lot. Just top off my piece, give it a nice round top, and then move some over to the ears so everything looks nice and even with a focused amount more in the top, uh, in the center there on top than any place else. And then I can take and put my embellishment piece on. And then we'll let that just dry and become secure. So now the piece is done, we'll unmold it. And it came out really, really good. And I will show you here, see, that's where the jump rings are. And you can see the jump rings really just make it look nice.